guys, Lightning Random here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple horse halter like the one on this horse. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can do this, so I'll start by showing you the easiest one. The first, first way is probably the hardest way. Basically, what you do, um, when, when you finish it, it's going to look like this, because this one you actually have to, like, make. So, I already have a piece of string right here. Uh, it's not cut in the exact length that I'm going to want, though, and also... If you do want to color it, you might want to like take some kind of markers or something and then just color it. And yeah, I'll be showing you how to make one of those. With so it. to make a horse halter like that, what you're going to want to do, and I'll try to put, show the camera, it's kind of hard at this angle. But basically what you want to do is you want to take it and then you just want to make a basic little knot. Just don't, make sure that you don't like tighten the knot to its full extent because if you can't untie it then you won't be able to make like fit the halter on the horse since we are making the nose band when you're done it should look something like this if it doesn't you might or if it's too tight you might have tied it wrong and I would recommend just like cutting it somewhere and restarting or getting a new piece of yarn entirely so and then the way you take it off is you just slide it under there then pull it over the ears gently of course so that you don't scratch up your model and yeah that's how I'm that's one way to make the halter the other easier way, oh, where did my string go? Right here. The other easier way is that you can just take something simple like a hair tie and this will work. I mean, this works best on the classic models just based on the size of hair ties. Otherwise, you might want to like find something slightly larger, like maybe a necklace or something if you have like a traditional or just kind of small piece of string for a little stable mate or mini winnie. Well, I don't even know how to size a mini winnie so i don't think that's really possible for a mini winnie but basically you just put it on and then you put this on and then you cross the number eight and then you just stretch it over its mouth like so and then it should look something like this so it's still looking like a pretty real halter I actually like this way more because um, it's a lot easier, but if you do want to make halters look like they're supposed to hang on to something, then I would definitely go with this these because you can like hang them up on little things like what I, like what I did in my last video, if you looked at it, it would just be hanging like that, so that's also a pretty cool way to do it. So I, I totally like how this turned out, and then you can just... I have this little lead rope here. The way you would put a lead rope on it, if you have just like a simple piece of string. And by the way, I'm I know I'm sorry. I know that this is not as fancy as those little jump ring tutorials or something. But if you don't like own jump rings, like for example, I don't. I would probably just do this so you can just slide a lead rope right through here, and then just like tuck it under the horse so it's not really visible, like so. And then you can just move the horse over. And then, this, I know this isn't a rider, I don't have any riders at the moment, but you can just have it hold the lead rope like that, and then it looks like totally real. This is so. totally how to make a halter without you buying jump rings and lobster claws and all that stuff. Just some fancy stuff that you can do with things that you most likely have. If So, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Please drop a like and subscribe for more tutorials. Bye.